boy, Arthur, you lucky duck. Yeah, it's going pretty well, Walter. Every night when I get home, Vivian has my pipe and my slippers ready. She has my martini all made. <laughs> she even rubs my feet. Oh, you lucky duck. You ever-loving lucky duck. Oh, yeah. Ever-loving. Always loving. Constantly loving. <laughs> Arthur, what's the matter? Hey, it's nothing. <coughs> Arthur, this is me you're talking to. Well, doggone it, Walter. No system of marriage is perfect, you know. What do you mean? Well, see, Vivian has become very romantic. You know? So romantic that... <coughs> well, let's just say I never get to watch Johnny Carson anymore. <laughs> never! <laughs> Arthur, I'm in awe. <laughs> See, Vivian doesn't seem to understand that most men are on a 48-hour cycle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Walter? I think my cycle is 72 hours. <laughs> Arthur, I'm still in awe. <laughs> too, too much romance can kill you. Come on. Yeah, a lot of the doctors down at the hospital are trying to get their wives to cool it on this feminine fulfillment stuff. Oh, come no, on. No, no, I mean, if it keeps up this way, we're going to be dropping like flies. <laughs> Where's Maud? Oh, she went into the den. Oh. Well, custard cup, I have decided to join feminine fulfillment. And are you in for a treat? Maud, wait! <laughs> what is that, saran wrap? That's right, bucket breath. <laughs> Maud, you can't... Will you excuse me? <laughs> Bunny teeth? <laughs> Why, Mr. Greenblatt? Mrs. Finley, I just returned your lawnmower. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mr. Greenblatt. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Mr. Greenblatt said thank you because he's glad God made him. Well, I'm sorry. I'm willing to forget all about feminine fulfillment. I'm, I'm sorry I ever brought it up. But turtle toes. <laughs> all I want to do is give you the perfect marriage. No way. I'm not going to end up with Arthur's complaint. Arthur, what did you say to him? Vivian, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I, I can't stand much more of this missing Johnny Carson. <laughs> you mean you want me to quit feminine fulfillment? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't do that, Buttercup. See, I love the pampering, the back scratching, your complete obedience, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> you mean you think the pampering is the good stuff? <laughs> what about... I like to be pampered. Well, of course you do. We all do. That's what's wrong with feminine fulfillment. It's all so one-sided. I mean, wouldn't we all be happier if we took if we took turns, you know, pampering each other? I don't know. Of course we would. That's the way the world works. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, you rub my feet. I don't do feet. <laughs> Maud, I said I'm sorry. Oh, honey. You've done nothing to be sorry for, but don't you think we could all benefit from equal partnership? I mean, think of, think of all the new things we could learn. Like what? Well, like, I just found out that I like a shot and a beer. <laughs> How about another one, Bob? Sure, guy. <laughs> <laughs>